In this video, we will see how to make stunning dashboard in Excel like this. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will see how we will create a dashboard in Excel in very easy steps. Let's begin. I will uh, give the Excel sheet file for you to practice. I will leave the link in the description. So let's see how to do this. So we have the data here. Uh, this is the sales uh, data uh, pharma of pharmaceuticals. So there are different product classes and a different uh, category of these uh, medicines and say uh, sales done by different um, uh, sales reps and uh, sales by cities, quantity, price and the total amount. So we have the data here. Now let's do the analysis and create a dashboard. So first thing we have to do is to make a pivot table. So go to insert pivot table and make it into a separate sheet. So first we wanted to do a city wise data city and select the sum of sales. So now we have the city wise data just copy and paste and then change the uh, city to category. So now we have different category of products and in the next table let's make the product so different products and the sales of the same and in another we can look into we have done city sales uh, now we will look into the category and we will look into the month wise data so let's say date and we can just remove the date from here so you have the month wise data and now we will also look at sales by sales representatives so we already have all the information necessary for the analysis so let's label this as uh, pivot so now we have the data a source data in the data data sheet and a pivot having different pivot tables of the data by different categories so now uh, just go to the pivot table analysis change the name to city and in the category this is category and this is products this is month wise data so let's give month And the last one is by sales rep. So now we have uh, all the data available. Now let's start the graphing. So to do that, we have to just go to insert. I want this in a uh, bar chart format or even we can give a line format. So go to line, okay, and we can remove all these by hide all life buttons and then you can delete all these unwanted grid lines. And we can give the name as sales by city. Okay, for now we will only edit that much and we can cut this and uh, paste it in a separate sheet you can just cut this put it in a separate sheet and arrange it like this so we can change the we can change the uh, zoom level to 60 percent so that multiple graphs can be accommodated in the same and uh, we can add data labels to that to show the amount okay so now we can rename the sheet to dashboard So we have the first uh, graph ready now go to the different category of products and we will make this a pie chart and we can remove this this sales by category and we can input data labels and once you click on the Okay, format data label and show category name. So we will have the category name also in that. 
now uh, cut this and paste it in the dashboard so we can place it here or anywhere next what we need is the third column that is by product sales by uh, different product type we can make uh, bar chart we can remove all the grid lines and everything sales by product okay now we have this graph ready just uh, paste it in the uh, dashboard file now we will add the sales by different uh, sales representatives go in here and remove all the fields all the grid lines and all unwanted things we can remove then sales by sales representatives okay now we can add the data labels to this and we are ready with the data just paste it in the dashboard sheet we can make it slightly bigger and we can also include the month wise data A month wise data just go in here and then insert month wise data made all the files same way you can remove all these grid lines and you can have the data labels so this will be month wise sales you can just cut this and put it in the So now we have all the data points ready. Now uh, let's uh, introduce a slicer onto this. So for this, we can just uh, click on any of the chart and go to uh, pivot chart analyze and then insert slicer. Let's select months. So we will get the month wise uh, slicer. And if you want to change this to number of columns to three, we can make it to three. And if you want to hide this, just select uh, slicer settings and then hide items with no data. So now we have the slicer ready. We can arrange this uh, neatly. And now we have to link this. So for that, we have to go to report connections and select which all field uh, we want to, which all the graphs we want to change with this slicer so now we have everything set uh, now i will arrange everything neatly so we can make it slightly bigger so let's say if you select jan so all the graphs will change except for the months which i have not connected to. Uh, so everything is ready now we just need to format these if you want filter everything will be come back uh, coming back to the original this okay now we have all the necessary things ready so we can just uh, adjust these and make it slightly better looking uh, we can bring this down a bit and make this slightly bigger so that it will look neat so make this uh, we can change this align type go to design and then we can change if you want to change uh, we can change this if you go to fill and make it smooth line you can change that to smooth line so now we have this ready and we can arrange this neatly 
So sales by city, we can make it bold. Size we can enlarge. Same way for the for the data, bold and slightly bigger size. And then go to format and we can put this thing in all the all the data points. So we will have select this and add make it make it big. Similarly for the the axis we can make it big and just apply this to other fields as well, other graphs as well. Okay, now we are done. So now select this and apply to other graphs as well. So we will have a neat uniform Okay, now we have everything ready. Now we just adjust these graphs accordingly. Okay, now we can make this even bigger. Anyway, for this as well. And once we change this, category name is yes, once we can make this also big. So we have everything ready. Alright, so we have the uh, data ready and the analytics ready. So once we just click on this, we can change the color if, you, if that is something which we can change. Let me see. Yes, we can see, change the color, color of the graphs of different, we can make it green or orange, whatever color and this to something let it be blue and this to something yellowish um, let me change this to yellow yes so that's all about the sales data so if you select any of these slicer we can get the data of that particular month and if you filter out also you can even change the the slicer theme to whichever color you would like to okay so now now we have everything set up and ready and hope this video was very useful if you like the video please press the like button and share it with your friends thank you